Gentlemen and ladies, old school game snob here, and today I'm going to show you how I finally figured out how to uh, do a little bit of replication. So, here's what we're going to learn. So, two things. Number one is the spawning of a projectile uh, and replicating it ac across all clients, right? Uh, the other thing is uh, the spawning of an emitter, uh, in this case, a muzzle flash. You can, you can see the muzzle flash appears on all the, on all the clients. Um, and uh, yeah, basically what we're going to be creating today is a, uh, a sort of a, a spawner system that can be reused. It's quite easy, super easy to set up actually. Uh, and it can be reused for other things. Okay, so let's jump into it and I'll show you how this looks. So, uh, number one. Now, I am going to make the assumption that you've already figured out how to shoot a gun. And you just, you just need help figuring out how to replicate that gun uh, successfully ag across all your clients. Um, that is the assumption. There are many, many tutorials on how to shoot a, shoot a gun. There's lots of those. But I had a hard time finding one that uh, showed how to, uh, how to replicate that, that bullet. All right. So I'll just touch on, on uh, how to shoot the gun super briefly here. Uh, basically, what we have is input action shoot. And then I'm getting the facing camera direction. Uh, I'm getting the world location of a spawn point. In this case, the bullet spawn point, I'm using an arrow right here. And then I've got that parented right to the tip of my, my gun. So if you, haven't, if you haven't done this yet, this will kind of give you an overview of how to do that. So I want the bullet to spawn right from the tip of my gun there. Um, and uh, then basically we have the, the replication here. All right, so the replication is basically just a spawn, uh, spawn actor by class. Spawn actor by class is what we're going to be doing. We're also going to be spawning a system, which is, like I say, the muzzle flash. For the muzzle flash, we have, uh, what have we got? We've got the sound effect right here. That's where the sound effect is. You know what? I'll, I'll just quickly like, let you guys take a look at the shoot system here in case you want to pause and copy, in case you need to pause and copy. Never mind this part, that is not used. All right, so there's the second part. So pretty simple, not much to it, right? Um, basically, we are getting the arrow location to uh, get the location of, the, of where the bullet's coming from. We're getting the camera rotation to basically fire the projectile you know, into the crosshairs directly at the center of the screen. So we're taking this exit point and heading towards that center point. Um, we do a little uh, mathematics here, add world location onto a rotation, make transform, feed that into our spawn actor. Now normally this is where your spawn actor by class would be and it basically still is but this was this is replicated which I'll show you how to do in just a sec. <clears throat> uh, after that I actually have a montage playing to just show like the rifle kind of you know shaking a little bit. I don't have that replicated yet but this system could actually be used to basically replicate uh, I think quite a lot of things. I'm just learning guys so uh, bear with me. Uh, this works really well, though, and it's a really repeatable system. Um, okay, so, and here's the spawn uh, particle effect, Ni Niagara particle effect for the muzzle flash. And again, this is a replicated version of it, but this would just be spawn, spawn system, right? So we have the spawn system right here, which is spawn the particle effect, or not the particle effect, the Niagara, 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 Niagara effect. And then we have the spawn actor right here. So all we need to do is basically set it up like this, all right? So we need two events, two custom events, right? So if you don't know how to do a custom event, you just right click, you go custom event, right? Add custom event, and that's all you do. So now you can name this whatever you want, right? So you can take this and call it server spawn actor. Do another one, call it multi-class spawn actor. We will do the bullet part first here is what we'll do. All right, so you, you take that, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to set the replication to replicates on server, right? Replicates on server. Also set it to reliable. Uh, you will do the uh, next part right down here, <clears throat> which is the multi-cast, multi sorry, which is uh, set to multicast, also set to reliable. All right. So the first part here, um, well, first actually what we're going to, what we, what you're going to do, and I'll, I'll do another one of these just to show you how it's done. So this is the, uh, let's call this is the multi-cast spawn actor, right? So I'm just going to show you how that's set up. Well, Oh, spawn actor. All right, let's pretend that's right. Okay, so we will now spawn actor by 
actor from class. Sorry, not by class. Bond actor from class. Um, we will then from here, basically all we're going to do is we're going to plug all these things into here. That means we can use this uh, multicast uh, and spot server cast. We can, we can use it for different actors, right? So we're just going to plug all these things into here. Oops, plug that into there. Might need to expand it there and grab the owner part too. And I, I've, uh, it doesn't matter. Like the, uh, unfortunately, this one went to that and that one to that. If you want them to all be nice and even, you can just unfold that first. That should be should be nice straight lines. The OCD of me bug uh, that bugs the OCD part of me, but whatever, it works the same. So now we have the spawn actor, right? So we'll plug that into that, and our custom event. In the, oops, I forgot to set that to multicast, and that's reliable. So now what we're going to do is the server part, right? And it doesn't. So yeah, okay. So I'm just basically, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna duplicate that, right? Just duplicate that custom event. This is the server part, right? So just follow with me. You can, you know, use your own better names. Run on server. Also make that reliable. And now what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, call the custom event that we've done right here, right? So we're going to do. In my case, it's MC Spawn Actor. That's not a very good name, but you guys are, are following along, I think, right? Hopefully. Uh, now we're going to connect all the dots, right? We're we're going to connect. Uh, uh, let's see. We're going to be connecting the class, the Spawn Transform, the uh, Collision Handling, the Instigator, the Owner as well, and. Uh, I forget about this target part. What was this target part anyway? Oh no, here it is, right? <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm just learning that I'm just learning all this stuff, guys, but this works really well and I'm super happy with it. And whenever I learn something new, I like to make a tutorial out of it. So here we go. That's what that's what we're doing here today. So we've got this one here. So basically when you execute this event called let's call it let's call it give it a better name just so you guys can well basically it's you know what? You you see how to you see how to set it up now, right? That's how you set it up. And when you're done, it'll look like this, and mine have nicer names already put in there, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. You guys have seen how that's set up. You don't, uh, I don't need to show you again, but basically this, right, is what you end up with. And then from, from there, instead of your spawn actor by class, which would have been, you know, how you did it in single player or non-replicated, it's the same thing. So you basically just uh, call your uh, server spawn actor, which is our server spawn actor event, then you can plug into that the bullet uh, actor or whatever it is you're spawning. I'm guessing some sort of a bullet. You will plug in the spawn transform. That is the location that your bullet uh, comes from. Sorry, that's the that's the uh, directory that your bullet's going and the location that it's coming from. It's a, it's a both of those things is what it is. It's the where it's coming from, where it's going. It's all this stuff is what that is, right? So normally, if you're just doing a spawn actor by class, spot right, which I'm sure you guys have probably actor from class rather if you're just doing a normal spawn actor from class it's exactly the same right so it, but this 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 is our uh, custom event which is which is now replicated right so uh, what we're also going to want to do is set the uh, collision handling to always spawn ignore um, the instigator the owner again this is uh, you guys can actually I'll just show you really quick I happen to have my single player version of this as well so here's the single player version non replicated right so here I just have the spawn actor bullet. You need an owner, you need an instigator, get player character, self, etc. So this is the single player version, right? And then we have the multiplayer version, which is exactly the same in terms of setting up. Of course, you'll need to add that. Um, but, but we've just you know set up our custom events to handle that. And that's basically how you do it. That's all there is to it. It's, it's that easy, actually. And it, and it replicates uh, on all clients, it replicates on the server. Uh, and as far as I can tell so far, it seems to work really pretty well. So when I did this initially, I noticed that my muzzle flash wasn't working, right? But it can. It can in pretty much the same way. All right, so we got a nice muzzle flash there. Uh, and then my muzzle flash is actually just a play, a play montage, which is my little... Uh, my. Um, Sorry, that's not play montage. It's uh, it's the spawn system. So here's the single player version of that, right? The spawn system single player version of that is spawn system attached, right? So I'm just spawning the Niagara, 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 Gara. I actually don't. I think that's like Niagara Falls, right? Or is that a whole different word, Niagara? 
I don't know. I always said it like Niagara Falls, but maybe it's not. Anyways, um, uh, so that's how you spawn the system. I'm spawning uh, spawn system attached, right, uh, to the arrow, which is like I showed you guys before. That's the arrow is right on my on my muzzle end, right. So spawn system attached and uh, basically just attaching it, giving it a rotation that works. In this case, I need to change it 90 degrees. That may be different on yours. I'm not sure, um, but that just basically played the the uh, Niagara or Niagara uh, spawn of, uh, uh, special effect, basically. All right. So that's the single player version. All right. Multiplayer version, the replicated version is pretty much the same. So very much like we set up here for our multicast uh, projectile, we can set the same thing up for our multicast um, spawn system. Right, so I've set up a new thing, uh, server spawn system, multicast spawn system, right? And the same way, you used to do it the same way. So first grab your spawn system attached or the thing that you, the, the kind of base function that you're going to want to be, rep, you know, repeating. Because you, you can now use this replicated version to spawn different effects in different places, right? And that's why it's so flexible and powerful. Now that these are kind of set up, I can use those to spawn different projectiles and they will all replicate when I run them through this replication system, right? So that's pretty cool about that. Um, but it's the, basically the same thing. So I grab my spawn system attached, uh, and I'm, I create my custom event. It's the same, the same as before, multicast, cast reliable, server reliable. And basically, as you can see, you just plug all the things into your custom event the same way we did before, right? So just plug all the things in, just like we did before. And then you just plug it in uh, to your, to your uh, effect location, just, just like you would have single player, except now it's are replicated so that's it guys that's how you set up the uh, replication uh, repeatable replication so I'm pretty stoked about this um, yeah I'm pretty stoked about this it works really well quite easy and uh, re is reusable once you set it up and I would imagine you, you you know you can set up replication for different things as well like I think if you want to like replicate a sound uh, or a play sound or something like that you could set up your your replication system for that and then just keep reusing your replicated plated play sound uh, whenever you know you need that to replicate so I'm gonna do that with my anim with my montage here and my play sound hopefully it'll work the same I think so uh, okay hope, hope that was helpful see you guys later like I say I'm just learning so this was a little bit rough but hopefully that gets the job done and shows you what you need to know oh and one more thing guys if you're if you're new to this you'll also want to make sure to replicate your bullet your projectile so I've got my projectile here, the bullet. All I needed to do to replicate this was to open up the bullet actor, the, the emitter spawn, the, the other stuff, the um, spawn emitter at location. That all just seemed to work on its own. Play sound, that all just seemed to replicate on its own just by, and all I had to do was go to the, um, to the, to the main, the top bit here, the, the, the whatever, and click replicates. And when I click replicate, everything else just worked uh, for, for that actor. It just automatically replicated. Everything seemed okay. Don't know why it works that way. Just learning. But as long as it does, I don't care. Right? So you can see the hit effect. You can hear the hit effect. Or at least see the hit effect, let's say. Right? Oops. There we go. Right? So you can see that little explosion. The dust come up. All that stuff is in my, my bullet blueprint. Uh, and it just it just is replicated for some reason somehow just by clicking replicate. So hey, if it works, great. I'm happy with that. Oh, one more thing occurs to me, and like I say, this might be also something you need to do. You need you may need, and I'm not 100 percent sure about this, but I'm pretty sure you need to also uh, set your your main player character, your um, you know UE4 blueprint character, or in my case, I just call my character hero. Um, and you may need to set the replication on this as well. So replicates, I think if you don't click replicates on your main sort of pawn, player player pawn, it probably won't work. Uh, I also have some of these other ones clicked. I don't know if these are always necessary or not. I'm still learning about which ones are necessary, but you know what? These ones work. You might need to replicate movement as well. I'm using a custom movement system, so this doesn't apply to me. Um, always relevant means that uh, it means that uh, this is um well you know what there are other videos that can explain all that i'm not going to be very good at it i'm just kind of learning it so th those are my settings so if it doesn't work for you pre show uh, based on what i showed you before also make sure you have those things ticked and then it should work for you okay all right